Welcome back. Tonight on Animal Island, keeping your pet safe and comfy when your house is bustling with holiday activity. Joining me now is Dr. Aaron Vine of Central Veterinary Associates, and he's brought along a little pal with him, Winston. It's how you doing, Winston? So let's talk. Um, I didn't realize all of the things you have to concern yourself with during the holidays. Let's start off with some of the things that uh, you talk about, um, making sure that your pets, you have a holiday tree, a Christmas tree up in, in, your, in your house, and making sure your pets stay away from the, the, the water. If it's a real tree, that makes sure they don't drink that. Yeah, definitely. If, if your pet drinks the water from under the tree, it can make them very sick. Um, usually we'll see vomiting, diarrhea from that. There's some bacteria in the water that can be there that can make them uh, you know, feel very sick. Yeah, and some people put aspirin in the water to, to try to make the tree harder, and that's a bad idea. Yeah, absolutely, because uh, you know, with, with pets, definitely if they get too much aspirin, that will make them you know, also feel very ill. And this, this is sometimes, I have a couple of cats, so I know this firsthand. Uh, you gotta make sure that the cats stay, my cats love to, to climb on the tree, try to, to mess with the tree, but you gotta be careful with the tinsel, if you use tinsel or ornaments, right? Absolutely, you know, between the tinsel, if, they, if cats swallow, the tinsel it could easily cause an obstruction in the intestines and uh, in terms of the ornaments it can lead to uh, you know uh, you know gashes also if, if a pet you know is silly and decides to eat it right. uh, can also cause some pretty bad digestive problems and even obstruction as well of the intestinal tract. We also have to make sure that uh, your pets, the, you keep the pine needles away from your pets because some pets like to eat that. They get a, then a, that can actually hurt their insides. Right? Absolutely, that too as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's talk about uh, cleaning supplies. When you are cleaning up, you got to be careful with the cleaning supplies. Make sure that stuff's taken away. You got to really kind of treat your your pet like a little child, right? One hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, pets are mischievous and they will get into pretty much anything you name it they'll go for it uh, that's one of the biggest things that we should remember uh, during the holiday season we want to keep the pets at home with you um, and if we don't pay close attention to them then you know you, then they may end up at the hospital. And one of the things that uh, most people do during this holiday season is with the, they like to decorate their houses with flowers, different plants, poinsettias, different things like that. Um, tell us why that might be a good idea to do that, but you gotta be careful. Oh yeah, I mean, just to, you know, in terms of anything, you wanna make sure that your pet can't get to it. Plants, just in general, are very, very bad when a pet ingests them. Um, specifically, uh, can cause vomiting, diarrhea, and there's even some plants that could cause some real problems like kidney failure, like lilies. Um, so you have to be very careful with those. And also, uh, when you're eating, be careful with the food. Absolutely. That can, that can be dangerous. Yeah. That's actually one of the biggest things that, that I'll see a pet for. What on are some of the foods that we want to stay away from? A great question. Yeah. I mean, this is, you know, in terms of getting something outside of their normal diet mm -hmm. is one of the biggest things that I'll see a pet for uh, on my emergency shifts during the holidays. Um, and uh, definitely, if anything, like chocolate. You know, chocolate is a huge problem for pets. Uh, it can cause vomiting, diarrhea, can cause heart problems, can also lead to seizures if, if it's eaten in, in a high quantity. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking the time and talking about this. You, you, you make me feel like a, a terrible pet owner. I didn't realize all these things, but it, certainly it's great education. I appreciate you coming in and talking to us, Dr. Aaron Vine of the Central Veterinary Associates and Winston, that you're here with us too. Appreciate your time tonight. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, when we come back, Bill Corbell will have your hyperlocal forecast. We'll be right back.